Well, hello, space engineers. We're back. And we are back at the top. Last time we were worked on getting the landing sorted out. I've done a little work since then to change things up, and I've got it working a little smoother. It's just... It's kind of hard. You can kind of regulate speed, but it takes up some power. And I want to... I'm not sure I want to try to figure that out. Because I'd want to, I still want to be able to go down at full speed, but then I need to be able to slow it down, regulate speed there at the bottom, and then come in for a landing. But, like I said, I've got it working a bit smoother now. So, well, it'll be a while before we go back down, though. Because up, we're up here, and we kind of need to build a space for this thing to come in at up here. And for people to be able to bring in their ships and take ships away. And, you know, we just need another terminal up here. And then we can try to figure out, see if we can't get this thing to come into a smooth landing up here. Which might be a bit of a problem also. But first we need somewhere for this thing. Well, I've already got somewhere for this thing to hook up. But I need to get work, started work on a passenger terminal up here. So let me get into things here. And while we're up here, the other thing we need to work on is, well, gravity, because we have none. And I'll probably end up doing everything off of one side. This other door over here, there these other doors, I should say, right now are turned off. So probably do everything off over here. Let's close the helmet. And let all of our air out into space. I don't know. I probably won't do an airlock on this thing. I might be able to do that, but... Not sure if I'll really do that. I don't know if these wheels are sealed up. I kind of doubt it. I mean, I can see a gap through there, so I'm guessing that's a no. And I don't feel like going through the hassle of trying to work that in. But yes, as part of my smoother landing, I'm able to put these back on, so that'll help down at the bottom. I've got a connector up here. I'm connected. I got it hooked back up to the production down there so we can pull stuff from down there. See, we kind of need a light up here. But first off, I'd like to see if I couldn't get this to lock in somewhere up here. I'm kind of looking. You now I've got this here. Maybe. Well, first, I need some steel. I should be able to come in through here. I've got that there. I was doing a little repair work on the tower. In fact, I can just kind of take that. Let me come in here. Let me just kind of stay with this. I think I'm going to do something like that. It may not be in the right spot now to get this to work right, but... I think I'm going to try... Do I want them up here? I probably really don't want them up here. Which means I want to give myself a little more room here. And go ahead and put them on the carriage again. Like I have for down there.
We've got... Yeah, so I thought I'd probably need to bring it down a little. You know, you kind of designed this thing to work in gravity, so when you're not in gravity anymore, it's not as easy. Let's turn that off. Oh. Reset those. That'll bring that down enough. That's the right spot. Actually, I probably do want them further in. Because this thing might bounce around a bit. So, give myself an even wider space. That way I've got a three wide gap for those things to come in, and I missed with that one. Well, no, let me... Turn off auto lock. Go down. Get in here, see if I can't get it. Reset. Gently go up. And we should be able to extend that back out. Lock, do that. Reset that. Turn them off. Well, that was unfortunate. And guess where I'm going to be at? Yeah, let me take care of that. Let me get that stuff welded up. And I will be back. Well, we're back. I got that straightened out. Welded up. We're now clamped on as well as the parking brake and the connector down here. Don't know if those are going to be able to stay. But we'll see. But right now we also need to figure out something as far as a station. Which first, I think we need to have somewhere for these wheels to bump into. So we're not relying totally on those and this structure up here to stop this thing. So let's start with
Let's go, whoops. Yeah. All the way across with this for now. Then we're going to come out I think for now that'll work. That was four. Then we'll probably have to come in here underneath. Come on, where are they? Start with that. saying we cannot put that there. We'll come back and put that in later. But that tells me that's at a, probably close to the right spot for that to... Huh, let's just put it in there. But that's close to the right spot for that to be. but it won't let us over here. Nah. Looks like it just got rotated on us. And we're going to need something similar over here. So let's go ahead and build this on across. Then come back here. Drop those in. Keeps wanting to rotate on me. I thought I'd turn that off. So we've got that. So that will give us a place for those wheels to bump up against. I'm going to leave these open. I don't think I need them down here. Just those four will be enough. And I believe to start, even though we've got plenty of power down there, I think I will start with some power up here also. So, do we want that? Let instead of this, let's see, do I have any laid out? I thought I did. Energy low. I'll take care of that here a little bit. Looks like I do not. I think that is a good place to start, and that needs girder. Let's pull that in. Wrong side. I'm going to sit down here and I can charge up. How's that oxygen looking? Just fine. Once I get more of the station built, I'll probably put in a medical center or a med room. But I can make do without for now. I 
But I think off the top of these... ...is where I'm going to put those. And right now I don't see a point in making these walkable. And how many was that? As for where the sun rotates around, it looks like that's actually not going to be too bad. Excuse me for a little bit. Okay, it looks like one side's going to get a lot more than the other. So this side will be the one that gets most of the sun. This side will be mostly in shadow for a lot of it. Hmm. Well, I think... We're going to start with this side at least. Why well, am I looking all the way around there? Let me go ahead and grab some of that. And we're going to start with... How come we're not able to place the rotor there? That's weird. So I can place the rotor like that, but it's not letting me place it out like that. I can place the rotor end. Just out of curiosity, is it letting a hinge? No. So I'm going to have to do something different on these ends, at least. Okay, so I can do that. In fact, let me just kind of do that. Or, hold on. What if? Inventory full. Let me get rid of some inventory here. Well, let me. It does not let me put that on. Darn. So it is going to have to be that. And then one of those. And then off of that. Yep. 
Yeah, I think I can start with that. And let me go with... That. Let's see, how big are the solar panels? There by two, okay. And how long? Four. So that's one, two, three. The game doesn't freeze up on me. Four. And then do that. No, I want more than that. Like that. And then we're going to go in, go with, wrong button. Something like this. And then, let's see, do I have any of those left? I do not have any of that left. Can I recover some from back here? Stop right there. Stick with the scaffolds, even though it's giving me problems with them. How big is one of those? That's only by one. So that's one, two, three. I'm going to try that for my solar. I might regret that, but I'm going to try that. I might do that different. Let me do this different. You put one of those in. Go back to these. Then I'm going to go with another one there. So I'm going to have this one in a camera controlling this rotor back here. And off of each of these, I'm going to have a separate one with a camera controlling these. And see if that will work to point this towards the sun. 
Let me finish getting this laid out, built, and let's see if we can't get this to work. Well, I have that all welded up. I've got some things named to make this process a little faster. But first, let's see if I can get this set up. Let's set that to there. Where's the camera? Signed camera, there we go. And we should be able to turn all this off. We're not targeting anything. Where is always aim at sun? And it whipped around and we are aiming at the sun. So let's do the same thing here. Nope, which one is this? 1B. So we are looking for... Not 2. 1B. and 1B. And that turned. Looking at 1A. Oh, camera. Quit scrolling too fast. Camera, solar group. Okay, which one was this again? 1A. See two A one A. Always aim at sun. This should be two A. This will be 2B. Always aim at sun. So that looks like that is working. I can, I can easily extend these out this direction more and add more solar panels like that if need be. Or even extend it out like that. But that does appear to be working. That's not gonna... It doesn't need full power, so it's not gonna use full power right now, but... I'm gonna call that, at least for now, a success.
I still need to set up and do the other side. And I also need to figure out, you know, how this station is going to look, layout, build, stuff like that. Though now that I've got all these done, as I was building them, I kind of figured out I missed an opportunity. I could have added, so, uh, excuse me, oxygen farms on here also. And then had somewhere to pipe it into. Actually, I could, and I might still do that. Yeah, I could still do that. So I'd have to change all this over to conveyor. But then I can conveyor it into here and run oxygen farms off these also. Though I'd have to completely redo all of that. Or simply put the oxygen farms out here. But I don't really need that. You know, I've got a vent way down there at the bottom pulling in air. So I don't really need the oxygen farms. I think for now, that is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to come in here. Close the door. So we can get some oxygen, some heat. And it takes a while to pressurize this place. I'm going to find myself a nice couch to curl up on and fall asleep for the time being. And we'll continue this build next time.